Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. It is Operation Blood Valley, a very difficult crate tagging exercise. We have RLR out leading the team. He's coming in with the Arc Blade, Ballistic Shield, and Hollow Targeter. We have Danel 246 with the Shard Gun, Ripjack, and Hollow Targeter. The rest of the team, all rookies out on their first mission. We have Failberry. Uh, we have Beachy Carnahan. A B Star, Crowfather, Ox, and the Cube, Shiaf Tagoa, the Gore. I don't know. Anyway, let's jump in. Alright, the team on the ground here, we're going to go and uh, try and be uh, pretty quick, a good in and out. Better do this quick. Uh, we do want to keep the rookies safe, they're going to be a bit fragile in this until we can get them some experience. So now I'll pop open the doors, uh, no fragility on you, just get all the way up there. What have we here? Right, a triple mech pod there. Uh, there's no glass in that window, which is fine. We're going to send Failberry forward. Uh, Beachy, follow him. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Uh, sure. Big Star, you get up there as well somewhere. Ah! Crow Father, let's bring you up here. I must. Uh, Ox, let's bring you up top as well. Now, now, this chap here, uh, Discord tells me the name should mean something like Eternal Sleep or well, Eternal Dreamer. Of course, translating from a fictional language always quite difficult. Uh, let's have RLR all the way forward. Let's move. Fantastic. Right, the robot's up to all sorts of crazy business there. So, I think that's probably the closest crate we can see. We're going to work our way on getting up there. Not really sure how much we're going to get, but as long as we get something, it's not a complete loss. Come on, robots. Let someone else have a go. Oh, we've got Terminus Mercenaries as well running about. That is fine. Uh, I'm not too happy about these guys here. They're just totally hemming us in. Bring Donnell there. Uh, we do want to stay spread out. We don't want a rocket coming in. Failberry to that side. Uh, Beachy, let's bring you over there. Okay. Ah. Uh, Beachy has ah, seen that's... Berserker, Double Purifier, and Friends. That's not good, Mr. Beachy. Let's get RLR here. No. Oh. On to there. Send you up there. You just sit on Overwatch for the moment. Bailberry, you can get that corner. Bring B Star to that spot there. And lads up top. Come to that point there, I'd rather you didn't see that other pod. It looks like you might be able to let's see, bring you to this window. You get uh, there behind that little bin. That's good enough cover. See that over there? That's the one. Another security bit up that way. 
Ah, oh, Beachy, I'd really prefer if you stopped looking at all those chaps there. All right. We bring you back this way here, might help us out a little. Be star on Overwatch for now. And hopefully next turn we can attack. Of course we have this pod coming straight for us. Double Berserker Triple Purifier. That is an absolute nightmare. Ah, uh, security drone lurking at the back of the map, not really doing anything. I just want to get this one box and get out of here, I think. Come on. Right, so Danelle, let's have you on the Overwatch. Aylberry. Yeah. Uh, Beachy. That seems fair. B Star. Uh, we could even open with a grenade from you, couldn't we? That might be grand. Uh, let's have an Overwatch from upstairs I with will. you. And you. And RLR should be able to run in and do all sorts of nefarious things. I'm not actually happy about you being here, so we'll move you. No overwatch for you. Whoops. Uh, B star. Begin the proceedings. Huh? Oh, the old gun grenade. A good choice, B star. Danelle downs a robot. Well done. The shard gun working out well. Ox tickling a fella from upstairs. Fail weary. No. All around him. Right mess that was. There we go. That's not too bad. Now we have purified. There's another robot up there as well. Coming up nice and aggressive. Uh, let's get ourselves some cover there. You know, I've had just about enough of these guys. Spot that mech. Fair enough. Fair enough. I didn't tell you not to, so that was my own fault. And let's just lob a grenade around the corner here, maybe angry up a berserker. Or do we go for the kill on the robot? No, let's kill the robot. Uh, some people are going to take some punches. Oh no! That's a shocking first uh, shot. Um, do we go after the robot? I think we have to. How's your defense, RLR? You've got two armor, nine ablative. Got the blade oil slash shield bash. Uh, now, you've got some nefarious ability that does huge damage against marked creatures, isn't it? Uh, let's rapid target the robot. We're going to go after him. is going to have a stand in the open. I think he'll be fine. Uh, he might catch fire, but RLR's been on many campaigns. He knows how to handle himself. Yeah, 21 damage there. Triple oh, damage against marked enemies. Get over here. Oh, no! Uh, how'd we end up with one, two, three pods standing right there? Actually, four pods, wasn't it? Four pods right at the start. That's what annoys me about XCOM is that the pods don't spread out. They automatically just sort of stand right where you need to be. And uh, if you let them move and walk about, they usually just clump up even further. There we go. RLR looking good. Careful. 
blank shot on Donnell. Right, RLR has caught fire. That's no good. Berserker racing forward. That was too close. Yeah. Right, everyone in there taking damage. That's great work, robot. You've enraged your berserkers, which is fine. We can fall back and let them have at the purifiers and things. That should be a bit of comedy. Uh, security bits doing what security bits do, which is nothing. Uh, riot control mech charging forward, preparing to stun. RLR, too nimble, too swift for them. Right, there's a... Uh, Another mech at the back, launching into the Terminus Mercenaries. RLR disoriented, we should be able to move you out of there or alright, then just rip in. And maybe explode some purifiers. That should start with some good damage on the Berserkers, and then we'll go from there. RLR, he's only down two ablative. Totally fine standing in amongst all this. Uh, Danelle, you could race over there. Actually, could we get over there with using a grapple of some kind? Now I've got a real Trying to blue move to this crate. Uh, brilliant, sir. Drop down to there. Uh, let's move RLR out. I can't tab away. Have we seen something else here? Uh, more security bits. That's fine. Let's get RLR moving. Uh, you are on fire, so come over here and hunker down. And we shall also move... Um, see ya. <laughs> uh, let's bring it there. We might actually start with a, a grenade in there. Get to damage on everything. Ah, uh, Danell, could you shoot that mech that's right beside you? That one there. Tag the box, fail berry. Chance to hit the purifiers is not great. Can we get a grenade in there? Could if we moved. Let's advance yeah. forward. Uh, waiting for these purifiers to go up. Should be some good damage when they do. That's what we like to see. Right, Beachy Carnahan, iron up the robot there. Uh, no chance to down him. Could down a berserker though, Beachy. What do you reckon? Love it. Oh, yes. What about that? Uh, B Star, go for the robot. Upstairs, Mr. Crowfather, could you destroy the robot? You could not. Deepest apologies. The uh, rookie's having a tough time here. Ox. That's the way. You've Pretty dropped sure. him. There's a berserker, but hopefully he's going to go after the security bits and things.
Right, so they get two crates there. I think there should be a reinforcements dropping in soon. Well, that's RLR. Absolutely thrashed that Berserker. A clean hit this time on him. All right, security bit wandering around. Here's the cat troopers. Huzzah, we got a box. And there is another nearby that we can grab. Right, uh, Danelle. Now, I'm not seeing the notification that we're getting the uh, Advent Force dropping in as reinforcements, which I think we should be getting. Uh, which might be a uh, problem with covert infiltration and maybe the uh, robots that rep. Uh, let's try and advance forward a bit more. Get in gear. Uh, Beachy. You've already got a kill. Come forward. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Just to reassure you. Uh, B star. Dash forward. Ah! Uh, now, let's have you thrash this. That's the way. Ah, crow father, let's bring you down. Sure. And ox, let's have you hit up as well. Yeah, uh, don't worry about me. Fine. A little bit of Overwatch in case one of the bits runs at the team. All right, two more crates marked. Right, good shot into the raft is there from Danelle. Picks off a security bit. Those fellas don't seem too friendly. Ooh, sectoid and friends moving in as well. Game over, man! Alright, security bit there, armoring up the robots. And Crowfather from behind is shot all over the place. Oh bollocks. The ladder looked threatening. Right, wild punches again from the robots. Danell marked. And the scary bits continue to just wander slowly about the place. Oh, this is rather a tiresome alien turn. Oh, look at those mercenaries up there. They're absolutely surrounded. Uh, that does not look like the sort of pods I want my rookies taking on. Big faceless and berserker pods there. We might try and squeeze out another crate or two and then take off. What a pity we don't have big long range rockets or anything. Right, Danelle, let's move across this way here. You'll be fine, mate. 
You'll be fine. Take the crate. And we'll shoot that robot there. It's the way, Janelle. Ooh, there's another big robot there as well. Okay, uh, who's this? Failberry. Whoops. Uh, you were supposed to be at the end of the pillar there, but that's fine. Uh, your shot on the Gatling Trooper. Absolutely horrendous. You're in fact flanked by him. Come this way. Uh, Beachy has a flank from this spot here, which is good. I think it's on the purifier. Uh, crow father, let's bring you along, flank him. And what say you blow him up, sir? 63 to hit, miserable. Oh, good enough. You better believe it. Uh, the ox, 61% shot back in the team. Work ox. Right, you hang out there. Uh, RLR. Slowly come forward, I guess. Be star. Let's just overwatch with you. Alright, pretty happy with this. Uh, Danelle is going to come under some fire here. We might pull him out next turn. Three crates I am more than happy with with this team. Looks rather ambitious at that range, Mr. Purifier. That's much better. I <laughs> set the wall on fire. Well done. Well done, fella. Don't worry about the uh, friendly fire. Just rip into them. Oh, Crowfather uncovered. Why was that wall so brittle? I got the... Uh, Less environmental damage on, but still, an entire brick wall like that just shattered in one shot. Alright, we will be doing another mission after this one here. This one's been a bit of a uh, quick excursion. Star Wild Marked on RLR. You've been distracted by the troops at the back. Good. Friendly fire galore. Quite like it this. Adele, not quite enough to put him down. And you got to pay for your weakness there, aren't you, Danelle? Yes, a big shot in. There we go, another stabbing. Oh, Danelle backflips out of the way. Well done, Danelle. Right, the cat troopers are all going to go down here. The flames. Just no chance they're going to live. The crate lifts off, and I think we're going to throw the evac here. Oh, our crow father has caught fire. Uh, so we just chuck the evac uh, down here somewhere. Not really looking to mess about at all. Let's just get everyone going home nice and safe. Got it. Now in. Bailberry. In you get. 
Can we take some parting shots at anything on the way? We can. Try and get that little extra XP. Uh, beach eat, get in the circle. Uh, B star across we come. Walking, walking. Uh, from there you've got an absolute horror shot, but we'll take it anyway. Uh, crow right. father, you come. Ah, yeah. Ox across. Let's go. Uh, see how. And R L R and you get Let's get everyone out. A nice quick outing. Three boxes. Good enough for me. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Uh, we fight because we must. Right, so promotions for all the rookies there. Beast R. A marksman gaining aim on non reaction fire shots. Uh, a regular, also a grand pickup. Uh, as is Nerd gaining bonus ranged damage. And hopefully the Irregular will keep you in stealth a lot so you don't take the negatives from the bonus uh, damage that you're going to be taking. Whoops, I uh, mashed the wrong button there. Uh, we'll come level everyone up in a second. Uh, we'll jump in and get B-Star's perk. Seeing I was in the middle of that and hit the wrong button. Uh, where are we? The Armoury. Alright, so B-Star coming in with a Resonant here. Uh, that's the defensive side tree. I think we can give him Geobancer for the offensive side tree. And what else can we get? And let's finish up with the Spec Ops class here so you can run around with the Psy Vest and uh, some sort of combat knife or something. That should work well with your Irregular. Uh, stats for B-Star, let's go 1 health, 1 aim, fantastic. Uh, go through and promote everyone here, seeing we're here in the barracks already doing the rookies. Uh, Logan and Asa Grimm, uh, you've got a promotion. Uh, you had the MIDI spray, we've got Oppressive Heat, uh, Pressure Blast, Chem Thrower Suppression and Overwatch Disorient Foes, which is nice. Chem Thrower Attacks Blind, which is also nice. Uh, let's take the Disorient. Stats for you, uh, you've got a couple of levels worth, let's go one health, two health. Uh, one movement. Uh, Masashi the Brawler. What do we got for you, Masashi? Uh, if have string, we've got Finesse, a Drifting Contact, or Manu 40. Let's go with a Drifting Contact. Oh, let's, let's pick up Finesse as well, seeing we're here. We'll spend some XCOM points, that's fine. Uh, stats on you, sir. You've got 30. Let's go. One health. One aim. Well, we can't. That health uh, has taken quite a bit of your stat points. That's fine. Oh, down the bottom we have Mr. Gruffle. What are you going to do, Mr. Gruffle? Uh, you are an athlete with lightning reflexes. And scrounger for some bonus loot. Uh, an assassin. A sniper.
And we'll go Hunter as well. Uh, soldier stats, 25 SP. Uh, let's go one health, one, two, three, four aim, fantastic. Ah, uh, next up with the crow father. Let's promote you, your infighter gain bonus dodge against uh, attacks within four tiles. Let's give you a bloodlust. And... Um, Oh, we got lightning reflexes and runner for more mobility. Let's go lightning reflexes. All right, so the crow father coming in with scrapper. That's the dual melee pistol tree, which is quite interesting. Uh, we might combine that with scrapper. Ah, interestingly, I have two trees called scrapper. We got the, this one here, which is totally different. Uh, so we cannot take this one as well. Ah, uh, that's interesting. I hadn't noticed there were two trees, both with the same name there. Ah, uh, Scrapper and Scrapper. Let's grab a Juggernaut for some bonus health. Alright, so I'm going to come in with Scrapper, Juggernaut and Pathfinder. That should give you a lot of health and survivability on the front lines with some melee perks and ability to make use of all your traits here. Ah, uh, stats for you. You've got good genes, which are always good. Let's give you one health. Uh, to aim and to give you a point of dodge as well. Ah, uh, next up we have uh, Siha for Tagore. All right, you wanted irregular with your character, which we have rolled here, which is good. So you've got damn good ground, irregular. And let's go with uh, Scrounger for more loot as well. Ah, uh, that'll help up us pick up the weapon attachments and things, which are quite common in covert filtration. We seem to need a lot for all the soldiers. All right, you're coming in with Battle Tank. Uh, you did want Lightbender as one of your choices. You, we wanted sort of a melee uh, stealth unit. Uh, battle Tank, we can go sort of melee skills with. And you wanted either explosives, we got a uh, combat engineer, or a rocketeer. Uh, trying to work out what's going to work with this. Now the combat engineer tree is not a full tree, so we might go with... We can either go ballet skills, or... I think we're going to go with the ballet skills rather than the explosives, so we'll grab Samurai. Uh, so you got Lightbender, Battle Tank, and Samurai. Uh, stats for you, coming with good genes also, let's give you one health, uh, one aim, one defense. Uh, next up, Beachy Carnahan. Uh, let's give Beachy, he's got Bulletproof, let's give Beachy uh, the runner for plus three at mobility and a veteran. Beachy's certainly a veteran immune to mental ailments. All right, now I know Beachy wanted pistols and the grappling hook. Let's see what we've got here. We do have the skirmisher tree. Uh, you've got Thug, do we have a dual pistol? We've got Gun Fu. A uh, bit of everything for Beachy and what he wanted there. Let's take that. Uh, fantastic. That'll give you the uh, grappling hook and dual pistol abilities. Soldier stats for Beachy. He's got good genes also. Let's go one health. Uh, one aim, one defense. And uh, we've got Failberry. Failberry, come in with Blast Padding. Uh, what else can we get for you, sir? Uh, will to Survive. And Failberry, a team player, gaining bonus aim when allies are near. Uh, you come in with the Havoc Tree, one of my favorites. 
Uh, oof, what do we got to go with it? Some weird choices here. Uh, we can go Breacher. And Mastermind, another one of my favourite trees. Fantastic. Uh, stats for fail, but good genes. Everyone uh, that we picked up in that rookie pick up there had good genes. Uh, let's go one health, one aim, two aim. Fantastic. And bottom of the list, we have the ox. Uh, smoke grenade, let's give you a deep cover. Uh, I know you like playing pretty defensively. Let's grab you trial by fire. The ox coming in with machinist. Uh, you do like defensive type traits. What do we got for you? Uh, we've got survive, both survival and battle tank. Uh, probably both of them are overkill. Uh, let's go with... Uh, survival tank and let's take anarchist as well for some explosives ah uh, fantastic stats for the ox good genes as well that seems weird all right that's everyone promoted fantastic All right, so back into the geoscape here. Uh, looks like we are doing the scientist. Let us come here and do him. Uh, the avatar project goes up. That's fine. Uh, we've still got a couple of blocks to do and we can go hit the black site if needed. Ah, oh, which will be even less needed now that the team is back. Who was that? Ah, oh, that was that was Banana and Eamon Kazix. Well done, you two. Ah, uh, let's continue scanning here. Ah, uh, that assault team is at one hundred percent. I'm probably going to let that uh, tick up to whatever the maximum currently is. Ah, uh, be gone, you filthy jerk! Nope, keep going. Alright, we've got a ton of people back from wounds. We have any new missions here? We do not, that's fine. Let's keep going. Ah, oh, Resistance Communications. This month they have uh, progressed two bars, built one facility and completed two dark events. Uh, I do need to remember to add in the dark events. Abrasive nature from the hunter. Uh, he's attempting to sabotage the Avenger and a brutal crackdown. Dark events are indeed broken. I will have to manually add in some, which is fine. I don't mind that. The skirmish is here in red, uh, so we can take that. We can stick that over there. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, that might come in handy. Uh, so we'll go with that setup so far. Right, I think there's three dark events I've got to add in. Let's ignore that and continue to do this here. Other muton autopsy done, which is fantastic. That means we can upgrade the grenades in the proven ground. Uh, instant autopsies for the trooper. Fantastic. And Tigan is feeling inspired on a data cache. Uh, let's actually do that because uh, we could use the intel to make contact with another region. I think we've got room for that. Uh, we do not. Uh, let's switch that then. Let's go for the armor research. It's going to take 25 days. Uh, 
Avatar project and check this month's covert ops as well. I think we've got a few soldiers back that can go out and about and do some things. All right. Ah, so we've got breakthrough research or soldier bond. I don't care about either of those. Useful item. Sounds useful. Whether or not it is, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Or a new a resistance order that'll give us impact modeling. The speed of all armor. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Let's grab that. Beachy and Failberry. What a team up. Uh, I will spend the intel to negate the risk of an ambush. Uh, the ambush missions are just horrible. I hate them so much. Uh, let's go recover useful item. Ah, uh, who are we going to send out on this one here? Abin Kazix, off you go. Tell you what, take the Reaper with you. Right, that's looking all right so far. Right, we are fully infiltrated here. Uh, let's get this one underway. All right, we have the team on the ground here. Uh, compound raid. I'm guessing the VIP is in here somewhere. Yes. So like the uh, prison break, but with uh, more enemies, one would hope there's a big pod in there. Um, doesn't look to be too much else on the map. There's a little pod there. And that generally looks to be it. So what we might do is work our way up the side, get our sniper up here, covering the doorway, get the team in, get the uh, VIP and get out. Uh, so let's spin our camera around with the intention of heading over that way there. There's a couple of uh, bio troops there we can see. I've got patrol over there. But the uh, pods of two are not really anything for this team to worry about, I wouldn't imagine. Ah, uh, up there, Rosa. Adeptus Auroritus, prepared to serve. Ah, uh, we have Cross here. All those missions I go on. All Rusty Dios. Go, go, go! Samantha Ticket, let's head you over. Come on. Let's go! And finally, the breed. Oops, uh, let's hit you up there. Fantastic. Never fire. Right, so they are... You're not going to jump the fence there, are you? If they do, you will spot all of us. It'll be a disaster. Uh, I think Rusty can escape from there. Of your destiny. That pod there with a Spectre Collector Trooper. Uh, that's two pods of two that's uh, even more worthless. Come on then, you're going the wrong way, so we don't really care that much about you. Uh, whoa, that's a big robot pod. Uh, four mechs and a spectre there. Weird how he decides to just jump through the windows and things. The, uh, the glass bill for these advent facilities must be extraordinary. Assuming, of course, they use glass, not some cheap plastic substitute. They got the uh, laser windows down here. I don't know what they have on the higher floors. All right, uh, Rosa Griffin, let's have you charge. Uh, all the way down there, it looks absolutely lovely. We are servants of the God Emperor. They walk in darkness. Fantastic. Oh, an angry turret. Uh, spin the camera around so I know what I'm doing. Uh, Mr. Cross here, let's push you up here. Rusty, ah, down we go. 
Uh, some myth man, Rosa leaving absolutely Run everyone away. in her wake. She charged ahead. Uh, she's keen to get in there and save old. Can't remember his name. Was it Ishikara? Uh, to have Thomas Duncan charge forward. Oop. Stalling a bit in mid animation. Get up there, Thomas. Right, the bio troops patrol about. That's fine. Of course, the worst thing about location scout is it pans to every pod. Right, Spectre snuck about. Now that pod there is crazy, it's going to take some tagging, isn't it? Uh, if we're lucky, they might wander out the back here, we can get Rosa up, close that door and uh, shut them out. That little pod I'm not too concerned about, I'm hoping that turret does not actually cover the doorway. Turret. That's such a dick move. Um, well, we might get aggressive here and actually just fight the enemy, I think. We shall deliver. Uh, we do have to move fairly swift. I think for these ones here in uh, Covert Infiltration, it's going to bring in uh, reinforcements quite regularly. to be a single entity is actually Shut a it, swarm of tiny robotic units working in close coordination to maintain a cohesive form. On me. All right, it's Samantha up there, the breed. Let's get you up. Yeah. Thomas Duncan, uh, I want you up here in this tower, if at all possible. Oof, holy fuck, that's a long way. Uh, shut it, fatty. Let's get Rosa heading up here as well. We walk in his light. And a cross here, struggling to keep up. Then damn the council, we'll do it ourselves. Go oh, right, bio troops moving away. I really don't care all that much. I think they're going to just alert and come straight toward us once we uh, start shooting. Those uh, two pods there seem to be on the same patrol path. Right, that pod's about as far away from us as it's going to be. I think we're just going to unleash on uh, these two guys and the turret. Take him out in one fell swoop. Hopefully avoid that pot up there with the spectre as well. Ah, that one's moved away. Ah, ah it's all fine. Let's go for it. Let's not be fussy. Uh, Thomas Duncan. Can you blue move up top? You can, but you'll be a uh, bare rubbish getting there. You can get to that point there and see something. Might open with you from there. You should have good damage on one of the fellas there. Uh, cross here is farthest back. Ideally, I'd like to get a position where we can't see that pod there. Which I think is there. Fantastic. Just overwatch. No reason to beat around the bush. Uh, the Breed. And Rosa both iron up that pod. As is Russ, I don't think we're going to be able to move far enough. Uh, let's just grab Thomas Duncan here and fire. Let's take out the Collector Trooper or the Sniper. Take out the Collector Trooper, he's got a louder gun, slightly more annoying to listen to. Now the party starts. 
And we'll just advance forward with Rusty and Rosa and the Breed. Uh, they're all armed with shotguns, apart from Rosa with a pistol. Thomas Duncan, what are you doing? That's it. Thank you. Nice work from Crosshair. Oh, the enemy is alarmed, are they? Uh, always in these prison break uh, missions here, you end up with a weird flickering UI. Come on, forward you come. Well, I always end up with it. I don't know about anyone else. Uh, an XCOM soldier was spotted, that's fine. I was planning on stealthing in, but the turret placement just not helping us at all. I would like to finish my turn here, you filthy alien. How about you let us get on with it? Uh, so the breed. Who are we going to alert there? Probably that turret maybe? Or that pod at the back perhaps? Well, let's just go do it. I think we'll be fine seeing the breed up in here. Yeah, turret, turret, that's fine. Uh, I care not about you, turret. 12 damage, fantastic. Mm. Bring a Rosa across here. We'll take a shot of that uh, Spectre there, hopefully put him down. Fantastic. No pity for the foe. Uh, Rusty, we could grenade this here, wait shred down some it, armor. Uh, do we try and shred it again and then have Samantha there finish it off? I think we do. What's cooking over here, eh? Yeah, just get all the shred on it. Four armor, quite tough for the team to deal with. Uh, you do electrical attacks with a uh, jolt or static shock. Oh, can we not target robots with this? Or no, you just can't see it from the behind those crates. At two targets. There we go. This red fog for each of them. That's fine. The breed flanked by a. Whoops, she's going again. Ah, back, nice. The breed flanked here. Yeah, could be in trouble from that turret. But, uh, we'll live. We do have plenty of ablative armor on everyone. How about we finish the turn here, eh, guys? Thank you. Right, bio troops racing toward us. That pod there on high alert. Right, trooper backing off. Oh, he's got a grenade, does he? Nasty. Wild shot from Rosa. radius they have on their grenades it seems quite large doesn't it sure our grenades aren't that big all right spectre and four robots some challenge and spectre and a trooper coming in this way so we'll put down the turret hopefully those two troopers off to the side and this pod here
Right, on Rosa, she's got the big shield, so that's actually right, better than shooting the breed. Rosa, return fire, nice, four damage. Trying to shoot her again, I'll be happy with it. That's the way. We are under attack. And another turret doing much the same. Right, so uh, from here, let's have Rosa move to this point here. Take an overwatch shot, you'll be fine, Rosa. We are under attack. We are taking fire. Good, let's close that outer door. Hopefully slow down the robots from spotting us. And from here, turn and fire on that turret. Beautiful. All but the faithful perish. Uh, cross here. If we come here, we can see that Spectre up there. He is my number one priority now. Our chance to hit 69. Can we get a rapid target with anyone? It does not look like it. Let's have Samantha push forward. Let's go. Blank that trooper. So this static shock may chain. Uh, let's try that. Try and chain to the trooper. Alright, three and three. It's not magnificent damage, but it does its job. Especially if it only takes one action. Uh, we could then... Make sure this trooper goes down. Good. That bastard is down! Breed. We've got a gunpoint action here. Uh, let's try and gunpoint that spectre. I'm not actually sure if the stun applies to him. Uh, it does. You've smashed out the corner of the building. Five damage there, and then you get a pistol shot on him. Good. Thomas Duncan has a rapid target. There we go. Uh, surely between you and Cross here, you can get him down. Three turns left. Challenge accepted. Oh, start keeping score. Right, an Illyrium core. That'll do. I bet that could make a lot of firepower. Uh, that leaves Cross here on Overwatch. Fantastic. And Rusty eyeing up a trooper. Let's just uh, Let's get toward the building. Business and get set for going in. Come on. Don't know why it's hanging at the turn end like that. Doesn't fill me with confidence. Continue. All right, bio troops running about. I've got no idea where we are, nor do these fellas here. Hopefully nor those ones there. Right, cross here. Brutal. They were killers and thieves. And up come the robots and Spectre doing flying up there. Get these guys off me. Whoop, they're on the roof and angry. I think they spotted the breed there. Does anyone have shots at anything? Uh, you can spy that trooper. I'm not too concerned about him. Uh, I'd like to select Samantha if we can. Uh, no real way to get up. We do have a acid grenade. Hang tight. Don't know if we're going to have much luck uh, throwing it. Whoops. Uh, saw the spectre there. Where was he? No idea. Inside, yeah, can't quite get it up there, which is what I was hoping for. And cannot squeeze it through that window either, that's fine. 
Uh, could get in for a rending or up for a rending. What do you reckon, Samantha, in or up? Um, I'm not actually happy with either of them. Chill. Uh, the Breed. Again, armed with a shotgun, not particularly happy about going uh, too far in. We will take this flank on the Spectre, though. Good, nine damage. Uh, Thomas Duncan. Come forward. Uh, reload for next round. What do you mean my gun needs bullets? Uh, can we call the evac and get it ready up here? I'm not sure if this type of mission, when we rescue the guy, is going to call a different evac for reasons. Uh, we could bring Samantha Ford, flank him. Do I want to do that, or would I rather order... I think I'd rather give Samantha an order here. Our faith is bolstered. Uh, Samantha's going to... get inside and rend. Oh, we can't use the rend action now. I thought we had a rend ability to get up there, but we do not. Um... Right. Let's move across there. Totally cocked that up. Uh, I've totally cocked up Rose's mighty charge as well. Let's hang out on Overwatch. Cross here, you might as well pick off that trooper. Good man. Uh, let's have Rusty move up. All right, let's rock and roll. Right, couple of damage up on the robot, that's fine. See what the pod does this turn, I think it's gonna run forward. Uh, maybe a rocket here or a rocket there, but a rocket's uh, far less damage than a flank shot on the team. The Spectre, cowardly. Right, we got the Breed and uh, Samantha there. Samantha, terrible. Bullock and shite! Ah, who's got a medic back for me? Rosa covering the team. It's a wild shot from Rosa. Of suppression, that's fine. Yeah, most of the robots too far away for any real action there. That's okay. Uh, the sniper, Thomas Duncan, can you see anyone from your perch? You cannot, which is rather disappointing. Let's put you on long watch. We're going to have those bio troops and things approach. Uh, let's have a Rosa Griffin here. Come forward. Daughters of the Emperor, march! And let's try an end suppression. Whoops, we've seen the Spectre as well. Uh, the Spectre probably even more important to get down than the robots. Fantastic. Cross here with 66 to hit. I'd rather bring you to here. It's a flank on him. How about we get on with it? Oh. Whoa, well, school's oh definitely out. Good man. Uh, and with light him up, you can uh, fire again on another robot. Super work. Rusty, let's dive you forward. Let's go. 
right up at this robot's grill. Love it. I almost feel sorry for them. Going about their day and then BAM! Uh, if we move the breed, we can get an acid grenade on these two here, which should be good. Samantha, lob the acid on them. There we go, don't get it on yourself. Ah, uh, you missed the one inside. That was far less effective than I was hoping. Good, that's fine. I'm really surprised we're not getting any reinforcements. I thought we got reinforcements with this. Alright, bio troops approaching. Thomas Duncan keeping watch. But uh, not very successfully. Yeah, I blame the commander. We are knowing. They walk in darkness. Alright, so medic there and collector no there. Not too worried about these guys, just activating, and the uh, other pod of Spectre and Trooper up there, none too scared of them. It's uh, what these robots are going to do. Right, he's gone up top, moving inside. That's going to be a flank shot on Rusty, is it? Or just the overwatch? That's bold play. Everybody's ah! got a medic bag to offer. <laughs> ah, Rusty and Rosa get blown up. That'll teach them. The breed into concealment. Cross here, eyeing up the one on Overwatch. Let's take that shot there, shoot his armor. Well done, Chief. Uh, let's thrash the other one there, shoot down his armor. Good man. Uh, Rusty, you can just move forward, clean up one let's of these guys. Samantha from there. Uh, could actually get some forked lightning going. I like that. Try and give some red fog to these troopers coming up. Down. Come on, Samantha. End your turn. Uh, the breed actually having a tough time from there. Uh, some idiots throwing acid about the place. Let's push up to this window here. From here, you can tag that robot, which is fantastic. Which means Rosa can advance up after that last trooper. No, oh, don't make me show you time to reload. Thomas Duncan, uh, tell you what, mate, take that shot. Oh no, no, that's appalling. I'm gonna let them come and eat you. Oh, I thought the trooper uh, there was still alive. It's the one outside. Oh, let's bring it Rosa Ford. Get grab the treasures. Oh, we can actually see the door from there, which is fine. We claim it for the Imperium. Let's just dive into cover there. Next turn, we can reload. Hack the door. Uh, I do have to move across here up to grab this hunk of treasure next turn as well. Hopefully have a shot through the window at someone. Possibly cover these bio troops that Thomas Duncan is refusing to kill. Yeah, I know I'm suppressed. No, wait. Depressed. Depressed. That's it. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I hope that wasn't important. Right, the medic healing himself, that's fine. Oh, that spectre outside I had forgotten about. Uh, he's quite close to Rosa there. Ha! Rosa takes a couple of big shield though. Keeping her safe. And 
and Crosshair, I think, found himself flanked there, but he can deal with it. Another return fire for two. Super work. Once again, the turrets are totally ineffective. Here's our reinforcement pod coming in. I wonder what causes that to happen. Ah, uh, Rosa, reload your pistol. Our faith is unyielding. Uh, let's try and tag this fella. No. Die! Rosa. Ah, uh, she's not happy about that. Let's get cross here. Up, grab the treasure. Uh, I'm not too worried about that explosive there. Well, perhaps we will. Um, or we can overwatch. Let's overwatch. Oh, uh, Rusty, mate. Let's bring you... Oh, the spectre's out here somewhere. Let's get alert another pod, which is no good. Come to the side, try and get a shot in the medic. Good. On the ground, you son of a bitch. Uh, Samantha, ticket. Let's push you up this way here. Time to go. Are you looking at that trooper? There's actually got you flanked there. Hmm. Yeah, on it. Let's assume he won't shoot you, and let's bring. I was going to say the breed around the corner, but we have to reload. I'm ready to hand out some pain. Uh, Thomas Duncan, you might as well hit that explosive there and blow that up. Right, cheeky damage on the bio filth. Oh dear, that's a good oh, reinforcement pod. Uh, double Berserker, Purifier, and one Faceless, okay. This isn't right. One of your shades are watching the flanks, eh? Alright, that is a serious reinforcement pod there. Bull fucking shit. Oop, Spectre, hello. Ow! The nasty shot on Samantha there. She's lost her ablative armor. Now quite exposed. Rusty coming under pressure. Ah, uh, Rosa, heck the door. It's time to get things rolling here. Uh, bypass the lock. Uh, not quite good enough. Uh, security protocols triggered. That's alright, we are not being very stealthy at the moment. The single worst mechanic within the game. Why would you call it you evac when we've got one positioned by our team out here? Utterly, utterly stupid. Alright, Thomas Duncan, get running. Uh, we can't really stay and fight if we've got to leg it all the way over there. Hey, try again, scrubs. Everyone's on the uh, wrong side of the map. It's so disheartening. I want to play a strategy game where my strategy versus the enemy plays out. And if I call an evac over here, that's a big part of the strategy, just being ignored. I don't know, anyway, find it total garbage. Uh, let's have a Rosa here. Uh, do we want to move around the back or not bother? Tell you what, Rosa, just turn on your protection protocol and stand there. Tank anything that charges the team. We'll just run by with everyone else, I think. I'm too disheartened and annoyed after that. Oh, we do have to go get the uh, civilian, of course. Uh, cross here. Do you want to be the one to do it? Actually, I think I'd have rather have uh, Rusty do it. Rusty, get in here. Get the civilian. Okay. Watch out, you twat! We're easy targets! 
here. Right, get in there. You can get the civilian next turn. Oh, you can actually pick him up now, can you? Well done. Uh, Samantha Ticket, let's not miss about. You've been badly wounded. Move it. Uh, I might medkit you next turn, make sure we can get you out. The breed. Uh, do we stay and muck about or do we just fall back? Uh, you're going to have to go through the acid going that way. Whoops. Uh, follow Samantha. Cross here. No, oh, no, just fall back. So Thomas Duncan in the worst of spots now, being the slowest member of the team and over the wrong side of the map. Why would Bradford say, no, you can't evac from there, go over there? It makes so little sense within the sense of the game. No, oh, Thomas Duncan. Do, do you well, want the me. At oh. least I believe this counts as captured if we just abandon him here. It'll serve him right. Why do you do it, Bradford? I assume it's Bradford. He's the clearly a person most likely to make a stupid decision. Oh, or me moving cross here into that position. Also likely to make a stupid choice. Right. I don't think anyone's in slap and range. We can just go with uh, everyone here. Rosa under fire. fire. She's fine. That's the way, Rosa. Don't stand for this garbage. And the berserker charged up. Yeah, not in range. So I can give him a smash, Rosa. I hope we can dive you out from between them there. Get through the gap. So, first and most important is Rusty with the VIP. Get moving, Mr. Rusty. Uh, you can get to... There. Do so. Uh, next up, Rosa. Make sure we can get her out of the corner. We can. Uh, let's just dive all the way back here. Our burning fervor guides us. Next up, cross here and get back as well. Come on. Uh, then we can meet up with Samantha in the breed passing around. Samantha can get out. Hurry, hurry. Uh, which is good. Let's bring the breed nice. up. We might actually overwatch from this corner here. Although we do have Thomas Duncan sneaking up there. He might be able to use squad sight from the berserkers, which we did leave this duck around the corner, in fact. We don't need anyone getting picked off by our nefarious sniper who's turned against the team. Hope this makes the papers. Oh, my mom would be proud. All right, go home, Samantha. Alright, let's see if Advent have any counter to us wildly running. I do believe they do. Overwatch though, a good option. But uh, we can just run it with Rusty, he does have the lightning reflexes. Right, 
Right, Purifier is approaching, but uh, we're well out of range. He's having a rampage. These Berserkers always seem to have 75 to hit, and they miss an incredible amount of those 75% shots. And the Purifier up. And the evil Thomas Duncan replicating. Disgusting. Right, a new spectre is born and he's hiding. Right, off we go, team. Daughters of the Emperor, march! Okay, okay. Then you get ahead. Uh, you've got it's lightning reflexes, off. it doesn't matter. And the breed jump you in as well. Sounds about right to me. And away we go. Yes, yes. A fine rescue there. In and out, super sneaky. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Well done, team. I killed 16 out of 29. Right, good photo of the chaps. Alright, so Thomas Duncan is indeed captured. I will go on a rescue mission for him at some point. Samantha Ticket, wounded and promoted. Uh, we have uh, Solace, uh, Restore Life, or Cloud Cover. Activating Storm Shock or similar abilities generates a small smoke cloud. Uh, interesting options. Let's go Solace, blocking mental impairments. Pretty strong. Uh, we might come back and pick this one up a bit later on if you get some spare AP. Uh, Rusty Dios got himself wounded. At this tier we could have Macabre Waltz, which requires Abyssal Blade. We got uh, Bombardier, you may throw or launch grenades, an extra few tiles, or breach and clear. Uh, let's go with... We've got Salvo, Heavy Ordnance. Let's go a long range with the Rusty. Tell you what, let's go breach and clear as well. We'll pick that up, spend some AP, get some extra explosives. And the Breed. Uh, you've got Gunpoint and Survival Instinct. Next tier we have the Decoy. Uh, when your concealment is broken for the first time, spawn a mount beacon. We have Hawkeye uh, granting bonuses to critical hit. Or Spotter, return fire with your pistol. Uh, marks the target. I don't think you're going to be uh, returning fire all that much. Let's go with Decoy. Uh, you can never go wrong with a free Mimic beacon every so often. Uh, Kiriko Ishikawa joins the engineering team. I thought it was a scientist, but the engineer is fantastic. Uh, let's in fact put them to work here, clearing machinery. Uh, and we've got another engineer. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna have them the power relay, infirmary, the ring, or the proving ground. Let's just have them start digging debris here. Which is fine. So we are back to the Geoscape. Not now, supply drop. We're grabbing a scientist. I think this is why I thought it was a scientist. Uh, infiltration mission. Uh, rescue soldier, Thomas Duncan. We're already up to it. Uh, he's only just been captured, but the team has got together and come up with a cunning plan. Alright, so the team for Operation Iron Tower here going to be a mix of the experienced and the inexperienced Ripple Snake set to lead the team. Coming in with the Experimental Blade and the Ballistic Shield. We have Logan, Asa Grimm bringing the Immolator and Smoke Canister. 
we have Soul XP with the Mag Pistol Ballistic Shield, Onana with the Gauss Rifle Hollow Targeter and Spear Med Kit, we have Crow Father in with the Dual Mag Pistols, Axis Fire Vega with the Shard Gun Psy Underlay, we have uh, Sihaf Tagore in with the uh, Temnotic Rifle Claymore and Grenade, and we have Ox in with the Mag Rifle Grenade Launcher, pair of grenades on Ox here. Let's uh, set the team to infiltrating. Uh, covert op data retrieval. All right. Also, look at the board. We've got a covert op here for data retrieval. Tons of intel. Tons of supplies. I think this is a weird one. We send one chap and they get ambushed. Uh, it very much looks like that. So I need to have a team on hand to go ready to go and rescue whoever this is. Uh, I wouldn't mind someone, actually Joe there with a uh, Ghost Walker, maybe excellent for scouting about. Uh, you've got the anti-material rifle, you've got the ballistic shield, let's send Joe in. He's going to be ambushed, but I think we can get him out. Apart from that, we've got manufacture upgrade, hunt the warlock, improve combat intelligence, fabricate the PCS counter chosen activity. We'd have to send off a sergeant. I'm not actually sure I want to send any more people out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We've only got seven or eight people left about at the moment. Uh, could go buy some more crew though. We've got 100 uh, supplies. Let's go buy a couple more people. I still don't think we're going to do that mission. Alright, so spent a few of our supplies there. Picked up Hannibal and Ario. We're going to continue skating here and grab the scientist. I hope our AP rounds built. Fantastic. Uh, next up we've got Riot Rounds and then the Skulljack here. Uh, what's happened to this? There we go. It's uh, zoomed in eventually. Uh, not much exciting other research to do at the moment, so we'll uh, hold off on that. Uh, new assault mission, rescue stranded resistance agent. All right, so this assault mission, uh, we're coming in with well rehearsed, so getting a plus one on the timer, but a messy insertion. The squad begins 20% uh, tired and one soldier will be 25% injured. We gain one rumor and 15 intel. And uh, this one will be coming up in the next video. I hope to see you then. I've been Mr. Garuffle. This has been XCOM 2.